Well, hello lovelies. It is time for another artwork update. I'm a little behind on posting these, but I still am going to finish them because I've been filming them. Um, so August was a very, very, very busy month for me. Uh, my show was coming up in, in September, and so I really had to get cranking on new pieces. It was also the first month where I really started to feel like my normal self again after my two surgeries. And um, so I just was working like crazy on my artwork and just improving and getting better and really experimenting with the laser cutter. And this first piece is a piece that I started at the beginning of August. It's a bobcat that was created on this large oval piece of wood that I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually don't like this piece very much. It's probably one of my least favorite pieces from this year. But I was experimenting. It was my first time using the masking tape when um, burning the piece and finding out that I could mask over areas and then burn over the masking tape and then reveal the areas underneath which is how I did the legs of the bobcat with the gunpowder in between. So here I am just showing you that first initial burn here where I did that first. I originally was going to make an entire video about the bobcat piece but ended up losing an SD card that had the footage on it so that never came to fruition but this bobcat piece actually got finished off in September, so I'll show you the final reveal next month. Well, probably next week, but in the next month's video. Now this next piece was actually for, it started originally for a square carousel uh, prompt, but then I ended up changing it into something else. And it is a piece that I wanted to focus on layers and creating this kind of like oval composition and shape of the entire piece. This was my third laser cut project and so I really wanted to play around with some layering and seeing um, how I could make a bigger piece. Because my laser cutter is pretty small, I wanted to see how large I could go with just two pieces, so I was playing around with size and shape. This was also my first time burning on the Baltic birch that I use for these laser cut pieces. So you'll see there's some variations in temperature, which are not always accurate because I was still learning how to burn this particular type of wood. But I had a lot of fun with this piece. I feel like some of the shapes might be a little too generic, um, but Overall, I was pretty happy with the final result, and considering it's only my third full illustration with the laser cutter, I think it's pretty awesome. I also learned that the, I have to be very careful with the glue that I use, um, all things that I will talk about in a future laser cut video that I'm making. There you'll see there's some shiny spots where the ink didn't cover the glue that seeped out from underneath the pieces. So there was a couple of challenges that I didn't foresee originally, but that overall worked out in the end because the entire piece got a nice clear coat of gloss and so all these blemishes kind of went away. Um, after the final spraying of the project. I've also found over time that the layering of shapes and how things are going to fit together can be really challenging, but it's super fun to, it's really like a puzzle. The laser cut pieces feel like a puzzle when I'm designing them in the computer and then later when I'm putting them together, sometimes there's things that I didn't foresee being a problem um, and then I have to kind of figure it out how I'm going to make it work and fit together and it's just really, really fun to work on and to do. I absolutely love experimenting and playing with the laser cut design and how the wood pieces are going to fit together. Over the last few months I have really expanded my knowledge of woodworking and I've purchased new tools and I've been practicing more and I love mixing laser cut work with hand cut work and that's what I'm moving forward to do in the future. So overall I'm really happy with this finished piece and I'm very proud of it. It's still available and it's available on my website and also in store at Art Up Front Street in Exeter, New Hampshire. 
This next piece I would say ended up being the most popular piece at my show and subsequently one of the most popular pieces I've ever done on Instagram. Um, the thought process behind this piece was a poem that I came up with about uh, the, the world kind of coming to an end and nature kind of taking back over humanity. Um, and as you can see here, I, it really focused heavily on layers that fit together to create this solid skull. And it was my first time kind of doing that many layers all matching up. So I went through and glued them in sections to make sure that they would work first before I started any of the burning or the line work. Um, also, it was easier to kind of glue them together with binder clips in a few sections at a time and not have to worry about gluing the entire piece together until the very end. But then that way I also was not burning something that would then be covered up, which I have done before. I've, I've like spent time burning this whole thing and then realizing that you're not even going to see what I just did. So um, this was all part of experimenting and playing around and having fun, but I love how this piece turned out. It was the first piece that sold at the show, um, and it sold immediately, so I was really, really happy with that. Um, and since then, I've also gotten a few skull commissions, which you guys will see in future videos that I have worked on. Um, skull designs are really popular apparently <laughs> and um, it was also a lot of fun and I, I've actually got a few more skull designs that I haven't finished that are still in the works um, that I'm going to work on in the future and maybe make a whole series off of it uh, because they are very popular and it is a lot of fun to do them. Um, I'm not usually a human person, I'm more of an animal person but bones are really interesting. I love the shapes. Um, I love kind of, you know, the texture of bone. Um, so it's just been really interesting to kind of replicate that in wood form. And then of course the nest and the birds fit my very typical style. And I had a lot of fun kind of cutting random pieces to fit together to make the nests. And then also kind of making these cute little birds that were simple and monochromatic. Um, wood burnt very close to my other styles previously but now that I can do 3D laser cutting it's it's really fun to play with shapes and burning into those shapes and kind of roughening them up and giving them rough like more rough edges uh, so that you're not quite sure if they're laser cut or if they're hand cut because they're kind of like burnt and rough um, and I just love kind of playing with that juxtaposition of clean lines and messy lines. As usual, and as with many of my pieces that you've seen over the last year, I do lots of line work, lots of dots, and I just love playing with lines. That is my favorite thing, and that is why this tool right here is actually one of my favorite tools altogether. I love using the spade on the, the wood burning tool. So you'll see I spend a lot of time making sure the pieces will fit, making sure everything kind of looks good before I glue everything down. And that's because, again, it's like a puzzle and sometimes there's unforeseen circumstances where it just doesn't end up working out. The shapes don't fit together, or they don't work. Um, and sometimes I end up rearranging the composition that's different than what I had in the computer because when you actually see it in a 3D form, it ha takes on a different feel and a different look. And so it's better for me to kind of get an idea of what I want things to look like when I actually have them cut out and burned. Overall, this project was a lot of work, but it was 100% worth it and it was so much fun to do. And I just really, really am proud of this piece. I love how it turned out and I am excited that it sold and it's kind of been a, a bouncing board for new ideas that I have in the future. Something new that I have coming up soon is that I'm going to be going over my sketchbook. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you guys, I show my real rough around the edges, not perfect sketchbook and how I turn sketches into finished work. So that's going to be a video that's coming soon. So please do consider subscribing if you're new here. Um, if that sounds like something you might want to see, be sure to keep an eye out for that because it's going to be coming soon. I love the depth that's created with the layers of the laser cut pieces. The 3D relief wooden relief effect is so much fun to play with and it just adds this extra layer of, 
of texture and form and oh, it's so fun to play the things in 3D. Um, I just really feel like my artwork is kind of coming together and I'm creating things that I just really feel are very me and very oh, just awesome and amazing and it, it just feels great to create artwork that really shows well and sells well. This last piece that I'm going to show, I actually didn't finish until September, but this is a laser cut piece where I didn't actually do any wood burning on this piece. It was all laser cut and laser engraved, and I wanted to focus on the fine details that you can get with the engraving. I had to sand it down because I didn't mask it first, and so there was a lot of sanding to do, but it was nice to sand it down anyways so that when I added the metallic watercolors, they went on smoothly. This finished piece, I didn't film a lot of the construction of this piece because I was focused on getting it done and filming takes a lot of time. Um, but one thing I did film here was how I did kind of like a metallic peek through um, the leaves on the bottom or the leaves that were cut out. I basically painted this metallic watercolor and then I waited for that to dry. And then once it dried, I glued the other piece on top of it so that when you kind of moved the piece, you could see this little glint of silver on the underneath side of the feathers. And it was just really pretty. And I hope to play with that more in the future. Um, that was kind of like me experimenting. Lastly, I created this landscape piece. This was for a square carousel challenge and it got turned into a book cover. Uh, for the square carousel challenge but the final piece is actually still available for purchase in my store and again in at art up front street oh and i also created these hummingbirds little 3d creatures and i had them to first sale at my september show most of them have already sold but if you're interested in checking out a hummingbird or a dragonfly please do reach out to me you can dm me on instagram if you would like to purchase a little hummingbird those are now available. Um, all the colored ones are sold and I had some traditional wood burned ones as well um, that I can make custom to order. So if you're interested in that, do reach out. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, remember to create love and travel on. See you next week.